It's a good time when a lot of other food is resting to get wild onions. And the whole plant is edible. The flowers are pretty good. And what you can do is, probably my favorite way to preserve them is to ferment them so you can chop them up with a little bit of salt and crush them up until they're in their own juices and then ferment them like you normally would. And then once they're fermented for a few weeks, you can keep tasting them and see if it's your level of ferment that you like. And then you can dry them, put them in the oven on low 50 degrees with the door open a little bit to let the moisture out or however you dry your things, your foods, and then put them in the jar when they're crunchy. And then you can crumble them up like salt on the top of your food. And you've got this beautiful sour kind of salt. It's beautiful. If you want to leave them fermented so that you, you don't cook all the, the probiotics away, you can do that as well. Maybe a jar of dried and a jar of wet. You can eat them raw or you can cook them like you would an onion.